Let's take a look at a very effective core activity that the U.S. Special Operations community executes to help our allies and partners to protect their society from a variety of dangerous threats. We call it FID, or Foreign Internal Defense. Let's discuss FID with an emphasis on definitions, phases, authorities, laws, and regulations, characteristics, and considerations. Foreign Internal Defense, or FID, is one of the most effective ways to keep the world and the United States safe. By working with and training our allies and partners to secure their own countries, the U.S. is building a safer world and is effectively creating a circle of security outside of our borders. During my career in Army Special Forces, I've seen FID done effectively in dozens of countries. A preventative dollar spent on FID Helping one of our strategic partners secure their borders saves us hundreds or even thousands of dollars should we have been required to fight that same threat in the United States. According to U.S. doctrine, foreign internal defense is the participation by civilian agencies and military forces of a government or international organization in any of the programs or activities taken by a host nation government to free and protect its society from subversion, lawlessness, insurgency, violent extremism, terrorism, and other threats to its security. FID can be a short-term mission or a long-term program. And while it doesn't have rigid steps or phases like unconventional warfare, Department of Defense doctrine does give a lot of advice on how best to plan and execute FID. First, a plan must be made. The country team and regional desk officers must make a holistic plan involving all instruments of national power. Once a plan is made, resources and funding must be allocated. This includes deciding who will train our partnered forces. Once a partnered force is identified, it must be resourced trained and developed. Then they need to be set loose to use their training to fight the threats and secure their country. A continuous assessment must be made throughout the entire process so that the U.S. government doesn't waste time and money on developing units or capabilities that aren't effective. And once the unit is capable of standing on their own, the U.S. must work itself out of a job and turn over the responsibility completely to the partnered nation. Foreign Internal Defense falls under the blanket of Security Cooperation, or SC. SC is the way in which the Department of Defense interacts with partner nation security establishments to build relationships that promote specific U.S. security interests. Alongside FID, we have Security Force Assistance. This image shows a 33% overlap between Security Force Assistance and FID, but I think it's more like 90%. Perhaps a doctrine geek will argue with me, but to oversimplify, Security Force Assistance or SFA activities are focused on internal and external threats, while FID focuses only on inside threats like subversion, lawlessness, and insurgencies. Joint Publication 3-22, Foreign Internal Defense, is the number one Department of Defense regulation for FID. With that said, for those of you who want to nerd out, you can find more information about FID by reading Title 10 USC Armed Forces, Title 22 Foreign Relations and Intercourse, and Title 50 War and National Defense. You could also read the Joint Strategic Capabilities Plan or ATP Army Techniques Publication 3-05.2 Foreign Internal Defense. One of the key characteristics of FID is that it involves all instruments of national power. I've already made a video about the instruments of national power. I'll leave a hyperlink in the description. FID is conducted by both conventional forces and special operations forces. Many people think of FID as Green Berets training a national police force to more effectively fight the war on drugs. But it can also involve a training or capability exchange between conventional forces. FID can also include materiel, technical and organizational assistance, 
and infrastructure development. Without a good plan, it is impossible to conduct FID well. Planning should always maintain host nation sovereignty and building legitimacy. Planners should understand long-term or strategic implications of their work, incorporate a unified action and unity of effort, and for sure have an exit strategy. U.S. participation in combat operations as part of FID efforts requires presidential approval, but in the case of SOF, each SOF unit in each country has limits defined by their mission orders. For some SOF units, they are only allowed to train foreign partners and they must stay on the base. In another country or mission, they might be able to go to a forward deployed operations center to assist with planning. In other countries and missions, they might be able to go to the last covered and concealed location prior to the mission. And who knows, maybe bullets start flying and US rules of engagement always allow for self-defense. When conducting FID, it is essential for the ground force to know how far they can go within the authorities they've been given. The first and primary strategic task regarding termination of intensive FID operations is to determine an attainable national strategic end state based on clear national strategic objectives. In this video, I've already made a reference to working yourself out of a job and planning with the end in mind. I can't emphasize this enough. The US must do a better job of planning and executing their exit strategies and defining their end states. I've already made videos about these themes and will leave links in the description. Okay, so there you have it. An executive summary of why foreign internal defense is so complicated. What would you rather do? Be the US government policymaker? Work in the embassy and make the country plan? Or would you rather be the special operator on the ground, training our partners and allies to better secure their country? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to join my life as a special operations team, and to forward this video to a friend who needs to see it. Life is a special operation. Are you ready for it?